Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and a crazy person this time. Hurrah. Le gasp, a crazy person. It is Ian. As I promised in the last video, I'd have him here. Anyway, welcome back to the oh, room. Oh you did you did promise to bring me around, huh? Amazing. Welcome back to the room. In the last episode we did the last chapter, so now we have this intricate puzzle ray box. We do not need to worry about the top part. So just pointing that out now. Just pointing that out. Of course. So what we first need to do is come over here to this plaque. And oh, uh, give me just a brief second here. Okay. Sorry, I had to mess something up. Yeah. Move you that and then. You had to do a thing. A switch. I pull the switch. It opens up this platform with a box. Oh, but there is a note. An interesting note. July 15th. My research into the null element continues at pace. Given the, nat the nature of its origin, I am increasingly convinced that it is somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives a colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it, but I am fearful of further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. Because you know, when you think about when you th when you think of these kind of experiments, you generally are like, well, hmm. Yeah. So now we have this puzzle box that we need to solve. We have to get this ball over to this socket. But of course. And wouldn't you know, Ian's playing the room too. Yeah, because this thankful person actually gave got me a copy of the game. Actually, weirdly. A thankful person. I don't know who this thankful person is. No, you. You. Oh, yeah. Okay, Try I'm still thankful for it. Cool. Shut up. And I believe I'm almost. And ta-da! We get a key. Just an ordinary key. It's not. It's I've already special. just finished. The, I finished the first chapter already. Well, the first chapter isn't that long, asshole. Oh, true. Yeah, true. The first chapter isn't that long. Hmm. So if we take this key and we put it in this keyhole and simply turn the key. No, <laughs> turn the key. So we have this key. Yes, this key. Yeah. Now we have this safe combination thing. So it goes five, four, the rest of the left side, and then the entire right. In which it'll open up this thing. I don't know what this thing is, but it's a thing. It's kind of like a viewing thing, I would suppose. No? Yeah, probably. That's what I at least assume it is. So if we take our picture from the last chapter and put it there. Oh, also pick up this because we'll need this square peg for just a little bit later. Put on your eyepiece and look through... It's irony here. Look through the looking glass. Of course. And we get this trippy, trippy path through the box, and to find the word sigil, which is written on the picture now. So if we forget it, you can come back here and look at it. But if you're following me, you really shouldn't be able to forget that. Probably not. Hey, okay. weird things, stranger things have happened. True there. So if we take our... No, we need to take this piece first. Take this one. Rotate it all the way around. To here. Right there. And then we'll take this. Slide that there. Go ahead and take off the eyepiece. And put our square peg in there. That will open up this box. Which has, what do you know, a codex of forms. Just enter sigil. The codex box will it'll close itself. And we get a focusing crystal. Which is basically what it is. Okay, another note. July 29th. A new discovery has shaken me to my core. To investigate the refractive properties of the null element, I fashioned lenses from it. 
To wear one is troubling and exhausting in equal measure, and I am shown visions that are beyond my comprehension. The visions turn darker the deeper into the earth I go. I have relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. So what he's basically talking about is the lens piece that we currently have. Yep. So if we take our focusing crystal, which is what I'm just going to call it, set on this platform, these doors will open, it'll slide itself in, because it's puzzle boxes. Yeah. It'll close, and a beam of light will shoot out from here, but we now must focus the speed of light. And... Um, I will. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. What you do with the, what you do to focus is kind of cool. Well, first it's literally just. Uh, is this where we had to pull the lever? No, we get this circle thing. That's right. All right, we got a tiny weighted flywheel, which will actually be used right now because we have nothing to basically, well, direct the beam of light. But of course, we need something to diffract it, so to say. Yeah, of course. So we take our tiny little flywheel, it'll start spinning itself. And open up a box. Inside, we will get a refracting lens of some form, but if you push this button, that is not so equally hidden, we get a hexagonal piece of a map. So now if we head back to over here to place our first crystal or light refracting thingy. It'll shoot down through the different orbs of light, I assume is what I'm going to call them. I don't know. Yeah, basically a... Uh, yeah, basically sort of just something to refract the, refract the light. Yeah. And up there, it'll come out as a light. And now we have to push a button then find where that button opened. Then push the button inside that to keep it going. Because if that hits red, then, well, we, we fail. Or at least we have to restart over. But of course. And that's not fun. <laughs> Never is. Whoever said it was. Whoever said it was, well, uh, I don't know who you are, but, uh, okay. Whoa. Oh, look at that, another particular folding key. Which we'll actually be using that here shortly. But we're actually going to go and press the other button. If I'm correct, that gets us the other lens, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's already going. It's already going. Nyeh. Nyeh. Back out, back out, back out. Back out, damn you. Oh, yep, yeah, piece of map. Okay, so I was right. This one is Tibet. So what we do with these two pieces of map, we're just going to go place them now, is if we come over here to this globe, you can rotate it to find uh, different pieces. So we'll place the star piece of map. That'll open up one of these four little windows, I guess they would be. Probably. So that's what I think. They're just like windows. We'll take the hexagonal one, place it there, and with the hexagonal one, we'll get this little crank. And, yeah. Okay, so now what we have to do with this folding key, because I guess we'll already just get it here. We're going to drag the one key onto it, but oh, we don't. Doesn't look like it fits. Oh, we're going to remedy that. We're going to remedy the not fitting key. And see what you do with the pieces that you didn't use is you put them back in there, otherwise then the key's not gonna work. Flat out open and give us the lens that we so sought. Ow. Okay. Now with the uh little winding 
thing we got. It's down to here. And of course, as it would naturally state, you have to wind it. And then put your eyepiece on, and now, up here on the wall of this building, we now to need to turn this to where the symbol actually fits. And that's the second keyhole now unlocked. Uh, you're on Puzzle 2. Yeah, I've been on Puzzle 2 for a while now. Just got the second key, the second seal open. Yeah, very nice. On to the clock puzzle now. Sure. Uh, on to the fun one. Oh, yes. Alright, let me remember where I need to do it. Which is, let me go here. Ta-da! We win! We won the everything! We win the internet! I don't know. Hurrah! I don't know, don't joke Joke's me. on you, we really don't. I don't know, joke's on me. We don't win everything. We just win this AB intricate wooden box, and this thing will close on itself. So, examine this little intricate wooden box, or whatever, let me. Rotate the bottom of it, and it'll open up. Now we can just mess with that right now. Take our newly opened intricate wooden box. Place it on there. And it opens up this panel that opens up a telescope. For, well, a little bit later. I'm not going to worry about it too terribly much now, but we will need to worry about it later. So anyway, now that we have the other uh, reflecting lens, I'm going to place that. And now, Ian's favorite part of this puzzle. We <laughs> must now refract the lights. But how do we do that? Well, we need to put the eyepiece on. Now adjust this to where it needs to go. There we go. Ta-da! And we have now refracted a light beam through a very intricate, like, system of mirrors. I don't know. Yeah, it's, bas it's basic mirrors at that point, reflecting, reflecting, reflecting the beams off in a way to make them move in a certain path. Yeah. So now we have these two light beams focused. They'll close and open up. A path of the stars. Ah, oh, look at all this. This is basic like, astrology at that point, which is kind of cool. Ah, astrology, one of my many favorite things. So now we get this weird piece of the map, but that's part of South America. And we're just gonna place that on there. Which, what do you know? It's like literally right there. That'll open up the third little window thing. I don't know. Now, if we happen to look through the telescope, we see a form of grid line showing a pattern. Well, what we have to do with this said pattern... Come on. Okay. Let's come down here to this little... I guess these little star panels. And input said pattern. Which will open up this little door, give us another piece of the map, if I'm correct, actually, the last piece of the map. And a new one. August 9th, the circle will ride all along. How can I have been so blind? I have discovered a passage in their scriptus noctae, an incantation lacking the energy to source to drive it. Well, I have such a source. This 97 Astaroth, whom the Babylonians called Ishtar, Prince of Accursors of accusers and inquisitors, and he who can discover all secrets. Once correctly bound, all knowledge of the null element could be mine. I can barely contain myself. There's so much to prepare. Why are you summoning Astaroth? Well, you know, he's wanting, he wants to learn a normal teach anyone normal of the, anyone worth their salt. We'll go out of the way to try to learn something even if it's not in the right mind. Yeah, even if it's, you know, summoning demons. Well, it's not even a demon at that point. Well, 
still. So, but yeah. But place all four pieces in the map, we get a lever. Oh, lever. It's incredible. Open this. Basically pull the lever and now watch the top of this entire box just come to life. Which is actually one of my like favorite fucking parts of this puzzle. I actually do like I, I will concur with them, I do actually enjoy that puzzle that part of the puzzle a lot as well. How all the pieces of the box just slide out and just yeah. becomes a bigger fucking platform. Oh, and you hear the music, which means this puzzle is done. And we get the Stargazer achievement. Woo! Hooray! Yeah. So, now that I said basically we're not going to worry about the top of that box in, at the beginning of this episode, we now have to worry about the top of the box in the next episode. Yep, because that's exactly how it works. Because, you know, logic. And logic is just unbearable. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Room. We'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, Eric and Ian signing off. See you guys later. Bye! And I think I...